Okay, part seven of this project. Uh, it's coming along quite nicely. So what I'm doing here is I created another layer and I'm setting it to multiply. That kind of is a good way to uh, push some of the colors and, and kind of make it uh, almost like another exposure for it. So I wanted to kind of see what that would look like and, and you know, see it. I, I kind of like how it enrich, enriches it and, and gives it a, a little bit different look. So... Um, but it's always one of those things, am I going to keep it or am I not? Uh, so I, uh, well, you just have to find out. <laughs> so moving into some of the details, I wanted to add a few more highlights and everything here. And this video is actually, part of it is sped up, part of it is real time. So, but I wanted to uh, jump back in here and keep it going, uh, even though the past couple of days have been hectic work-wise and kind of show you some more of my thought process and how I'm designing it and everything else. So that's what I'm working on right now is looking at this nose breaker and trying to decide what I'm going to do with it. Am I going to leave it the way it is or am I going to um, do something else with it? So some of the first things I need to do is, is try to uh, soften some of the highlights and so forth. And just going back in and erasing, and um, and that's the other thing too. By by multiplying it, it increases the exposure, but then you can go back and really subtly erase out uh, highlights and stuff. So it's again it's just that layering, that um, processing of you know trying to make things pop a little more. So. And again, thank you to those who have been uh, sending me private messages and commenting and stuff and letting me know what your thoughts are. Uh, a lot of it's been over on Facebook and stuff there, but it's really nice to get the feedback and see that people are learning from it. And it's actually, you know, like I said before, it's inspiring some people to do their own. Um, but some of the subtle highlights you can see right here on the helmet as it, it does that part of it. And then some, again, right here on the cheeks. So as I softly erase out... Uh, some of the highlights to get it to show a little better and then again that adds that that texture that feel uh, I mean I can always go back and soften it like I'm doing here but it gives me just another layer of, uh, of interest so so really that's kind of what this is is just kind of poking around and uh, the face has been my real point of this whole adventure so that's kind of where I'm why I'm spending more time on it uh, the rest is peripheral and you know I'm not trying to make a, um, a super rich portrait I guess you know as far as the other stuff I just want to have it there to be kind of uh, backup singers I guess if you will uh, so that's why I'm focusing on this quite a bit to play around with it and push some stuff because these are things I needed to work on these are things that I need to push myself on and so that's why I'm doing that um, and while keep doing it you know to be honest so uh, so just trying to drive in some more looks and some more feel and, and starting to plan out what I'm going to do with these medallions with this cape um, the armor and everything else but yeah i think it's all starting to come together you know obviously there's still some spots here and there that i need to work on but really once i've got it to where i want then i can start um trying to look and see and compare you know uh, and that's what i'm doing right here is, is it how i like it if so yep so there we go back down to one layer um, and just keep pushing it and and pulling it to try and go to that next step so um Speaking of next steps, some of the things I need to do is start adding in some details. So that's what I'm doing here is trying to start refining some of the uh, sections for these medallions and, and other stuff. Because even if they stay, you know, quote unquote backup singers, I still want to have it, sh you know, have some texture and make sense for the painting. I don't want it to look unfinished. It may look out of focus. It may look, um, you know, different, but it. I've got to put detail in there to let people know that I didn't just stop. <laughs> you know, so, so that's what I'm doing here is trying to figure out how I'm going to, to lay these out. 
clean it up and so forth. And again, just using the marker tool to, to sketch or to blend because it works really well. This is real time as, uh, as well, so just so you know, I didn't speed this part up. So if it's a little slow for you, sorry, but uh, I thought it might be worth seeing again some of that process. And I'm just kind of, as I'm sitting here thinking about these and, and sketching them in, uh, you know, I'm looking at several different resources online of uh, medallions and, and things like that that I can kind of pull. A rough design idea. I'm not trying to, again, not trying to make a specific design, just trying to give some indications that there is a design and, and really play around with it. But this is a shorter video today. Uh, like I said, everything's been kind of crazy. I'm hoping to get in here and, and do some more on it and do that soon. But I hope that uh, you've at least enjoyed this and make sure if you haven't to subscribe, make sure, you know, to share it and let others know about what, you know, this project's going on and doing and, and leave a question if you have one, leave a comment. So I think this is probably getting close to the wrap up point, but I'll hopefully uh, get the chance to work on it some more tonight and get it posted up as well. So I appreciate you and I'm glad that you guys are joining in on this. Thanks. Thanks.